I got a, a couple of things I wanted to ask you about, Simon. So you guys have been certified a couple of years with us, doing some cool stuff. And and just looking back at your your businesses or your group, the Sandman Group, you know, you guys have sound. You have one aspect of sound you cover, and then you have landscape lighting, then you have electric. So you know, there's a bit of variety there. Um, do all is is that all that's in Melbourne, and you you do all those with the same crew or various crews, or how does that all work for someone watching this? Yeah, so we ran Greater Melbourne is where we service. We do go a bit further east or west and even north in Victoria. Um, so we have dedicated sound technicians in the sound field, um, mainly schools. Um, their biggest customers there, um, churches, public halls, things like that. Um, the landscape lighting is a bit of a niche we fell into when we were doing electrical, but there was a bit of a gap there where people wanted it installed with a bit more uh, aesthetically pleasing than what the average sparky might just chuck in the ground and run away. Um, and that's been really interesting. We've had some great jobs there that keep us up at night trying to come up with some solutions and work with some unions and public spaces to make sure that not only that it looks good, but that it works and it's practical and obviously vandal resistant and things like that. Um, and then the electricals, uh, mainly shop fitting and things like that. Now, obviously, we do a fair bit with the schools as well. There. That's interesting about the schools. So if someone on here were in a school and watching this, you know, they should know about you guys because I was reading some of your Google reviews on your website earlier and you know, obviously people aren't getting solutions sometimes. They they need to find out about someone like you. So you're you're obviously Melbourne and beyond, you know, through that area. Um, where would you go over the next year, two, three years? Like do you what just for people listening to this, in case they might think, hey, I'd like to to work with this or you, you know, engage you guys or something. What are your goals as far as the business? Well, I think we we're now looking um down the barrel of product development. Um and a few constant holes we keep finding in the market, which you know. Um, there are some products out there that don't seem to do exactly what a school, a lot of schools need or want. So um, that's where we're starting investing more time and energy to work out exactly what the problems are, so we can come up with solutions for them. Um, so we've been pushing back on manufacturers a bit too, to say, well, this is what needs to happen, or this doesn't work, that doesn't work. So that's been good fun. Um, and then you know we continually, I mean, Eastern Corridor and uh, you know down Pakenham Way, and then you've got out west Truganina and. For those near Melbourne, so that those suburbs are booming. There's more schools going in all the time, um, bigger and bigger, and and education's constantly changing and evolving, and what people want and how they want to do it. Things that 10, 15 years ago to play music through a PA system to bring kids in after recess or lunch for a few minutes would just be unheard of. And there are some schools who still stay that hypes them up. Others are like fantastic because it gives them time to prepare. And so there's a whole lot of things that probably didn't think we'd see that long ago. So it's exciting. So and to me, what ISO is about, just keep looking at improvement and making sure that you know you can't improve what isn't measured. That then has opened up uh, different avenues that I didn't really think were possible when it came to product development or things like that, things I never would have thought about six, seven years ago. But once you've got a well-oiled machine and you keep doing things and you keep finding similar problems, you know, the, the, the fear of finding problems, no, I haven't got any problems. Once you get over that and go, right, let's find what the problems are and how do we fix them, it can open you up to some really good opportunities because the solution may need the next best thing for you or for us. So it's that's been exciting, an exciting journey to once you go, right, well, there's problems there, there's always going to be problems. Let's sort out what they are. And once you continually see them and say, well, you know, these, we're always putting product C and G together and they're not working exactly as we'd like. We always have a bit of a problem here. Well, how do we do that? And we've got some great manufacturers and just some do Australian made stuff like Redback. Um, I think they're all trying to put their brands with Redback of what they make and they'll take really good, you know, take some advice on board and actually come up with some products we work with them, uh, give them a trial. And some have been good, a couple have probably not worked out the way we thought. So it's been exciting to go down that path and see what's, and, and I don't know, I didn't realise Australian manufacturing was as strong and um, okay. open to change as it is. Mm -hmm.